Hey, good morning. There's nothing in my teeth, is there? <laughs> I'm trying to wipe my teeth because I kept editing the vlogs. My teeth were like pea stained yellow. They weren't really pea stained. That's disgusting. I hate these. This probably tastes worse than pea. All right, I gotta go get them off. <sighs> That's better. And just to chase it down. You gotta go with some Fresca. Ooh. I've heard Fresca actually does wonders whitening your teeth and it's uh, incredibly healthy for you, so. Mm. I don't know, you guys have just been on a Fresca kick lately. Gotta come over here and get into some better lighting. Is that a little better? Maybe too harsh? Oh, that's harsh. The lighting was so much better before. Here we go. Okay, as I'm kind of preparing and mentally conditioning for what might possibly become daily vlogging for me, I'm trying to embrace the fact that some days just might not be all that eventful. <laughs> like for instance, today, let me read you my to-do list. Every night before bed, I make myself a little uh, to-do list. All right, here it is, email and DM ketchup. <laughs> That's gonna be an exciting one. I've been so backed up on my emails. I gotta get caught up on them, it's horrible. So that's gonna be fun to watch. I gotta email a buddy of mine about fixing our website. We used to have a little field on our products that said notify me when available. Every time something went out of stock and we lost that when I changed to my new theme and it's been devastating. So we gotta get that back. I gotta message one of my other buddies about helping me out with a little uh, product shoot I wanna do. I gotta order some more hats. I gotta make sure I get an Instagram post up today. And then of course, I gotta fit in time today to do some kind of leather work. So there you have it. Most of what was on that list was me like messaging and texting people. <laughs> Woo, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be an exciting one. But I'm telling you, the more and more I think about daily vlogging, the more I love it. I love it. I get to bring you guys in through my whole process of running the business, everything that it takes, even the not so sexy stuff like emailing, but everything else. We've got some cool events coming up. The Harvest Market at Sundance is always a fun one. You know, those are gonna make for some good videos. And uh, I'm just excited to bring you guys along with me. All right, let's do some emails. Oh, yeah. Well, that was weird. I was just emailing a customer about his uh, order that said went missing. I hate it when this happens. It almost always happens with our international orders. It's so frustrating. But while I was emailing him, I get a knock on the door and it was our mailman who had just brought his very order back and said that the address must have been wrong or something. Ugh. I really despise dealing with this kind of stuff. The customer gave us their address, so it, you know it's right. The post office doesn't recognize it, so we usually have to go through another shipping carrier and, and hope that it works out the second time. And by then, months have gone by before this customer's actually gotten their product. I don't know, we're gonna have to really dig in and do some research and figure out how to avoid this kind of thing in the future. Luckily, we've got wit on top of it. She takes care of it. She just handles this kind of stuff with finesse. I'm gonna wait for her to get back home and she'll uh, print another label and get it sent out. I just sent him a quick little note. I apologize, said that we're gonna get this taken care of ASAP. Thank you for your patience. And uh, told him that we're gonna go ahead and send it DHL, which is always much faster and much more reliable. But it is more expensive on our end. We're not gonna charge him the extra cost just because we wanna make sure he gets taken care of. But the bottom line, always make sure that your customers are happy and that they know they're being taken care of. Don't leave them hanging. This is really important because the experience that they have with you is going to potentially shape and form who you are in their minds as a brand, as a business. It's going to shape their opinion about the product and their whole experience. So unfortunately these things happen, but make it the best possible experience for them. Take good care of your customers. <laughs> well, look who it is. Is that Wesley Witt? Hey bud. Really sad. Why is he sad? <laughs> hi buddy. I miss you. Once a week, for only about three hours a week, Wit has to go in and uh, take a shift at the daycare at our gym. Because of her doing that, we both get free passes to the gym, so it's a beautiful thing. Good, Indy. Good. Where are you going? Once again, I find myself in another rush. <laughs> this time, I'm not actually doing leather crap. It's a little bit easier for me to rush through photography kind of stuff. The last thing on my list before I have to leave today is I gotta take the product photography for, for our natural veg stock because it's outdated. I've got pictures on there from when we were laser cutting them and they just look a lot different, especially on the natural. 
So since we've got new stock of the natural that's being uh, clicked out and edge painted, and it just looks a lot different, it looks really good. I'm gonna run a little promo on them today or maybe tomorrow, but I gotta make sure the pictures are updated and look good on the site. Let me see if we can find, find a good one here. Dude, they're all gonna be good. Let's make sure there aren't any major quality issues. Looks good. I'm happy with that. And then here's one of our number 54 card holders. I need to get new shots of this one as well. And it looks pretty good. With this natural veg, I like to take my adhesive eraser and just rub off some of the marks on it because it actually cleans up really nice if there is anything on there. Woo, yeah, looking good. Let's go get some product shots of these. All right, I got this mostly set up. Um, for a more detailed video about how I set this all up and how I take my pictures, I've got a video on it. I'll put it in a card up top. Shooting on an A7 Mark III, love this camera. My settings, I've got the shutter speed real low because it's on a tripod. That lets as much natural light in as possible while being able to increase my aperture because if you get too shallow with the aperture, like 1.8 or two, then you're gonna have a uh, part of the product will be out of focus and you don't want that. You want as much of the product in focus for this type of shot. So I'm at least 6.3, I should probably even go a little higher. ISO is at 800 just because even though I got these two lights here, it's not super bright. It's still a little bit, I mean, you can, it's just dark in here in general. So I don't have a super scientific way of uh, setting up the shot, but I like to look at some of the product shots on our site, match the perspective, the angle, Make sure that, um, you know, I've got the same set of shots that I have in these, and that way it's all pretty consistent and professional. Um, this is the most important one right there, because if that one's consistent, then it'll look consistent throughout the whole site. When you're looking at it on a catalog view like this, you want them all to look pretty similar. All right, so let me go back to my number 52 vertical. I always go off the russet, I don't know why. I think that perspective and that angle is pretty close. I think we're there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna start getting all these shots and uh, yeah, once again, I'm in a hurry because we have a body pump class, like a workout class at six o'clock. I gotta leave here at like 5.30. Woo! I'm always in a hurry. It's not my style. All right, let's do it. That was it, I did it, that was the last shot. I got a couple shots of these patches to throw on the website as well. So I'm not gonna have time to edit these and get them on the website right now. I'll have to do that tomorrow. But um, yeah, I, I got plenty of time. 4.51, I gotta leave at 5.30, so I am good. I'm gonna go get ready and uh, didn't get to do any leather work, but at least I knocked everything off my checklist. We're good to go. Okay, we're here at the gym. We're gonna go in and work out. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera because no one wants to see that hot, sweaty mess. Or do they? No, not you, me. <laughs> Wesley and Indy are gonna go into daycare. Gigi and Papa are in there. Let's go, let's do this thing. I'm ready, I'm ready to pump, get pumped. Who is it, is that Gigi and Papa? Oh, how'd you guys know we're coming? Who's that, buddy? It's Gigi and Papa. Oh, he's a good <laughs> Here, made it. <laughs> Where the babies at? Hey, did you have fun? You know what I was craving the whole time we were in there? Well, let me guess. We used to have a tradition where we, every time we'd work out, we'd make a, like an American breakfast. I know that's probably not your typical after workout meal, but. Hey, they're protein pancakes. That's true, I really want it. <laughs> There's Sarah. Oh, I'm sore, that one did me in. That class we go to is called Body Pump. It's killer. It's like a weightlifting with a little bit of cardio mixed in and get your heart rate going. It's killer. And I don't know how accurate these things are, but it said I burned like 900 calories in one workout. That's next level. Let's make some breakfast for dinner. Some BFD. <laughs> a popsicle for dinner? We got daddy's plate. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. It's dark in here. We had a good day. Indy, did you have a good day? Cute. Mommy, Wesley, did you have a good day? Okay. Yeah, daycare. I think I'm feeling really good about doing daily vlogs. I'm really loving the idea of it. As long as I can still figure out a way to fit in some tutorials 
and still that really valuable leathercraft stuff that you guys like. I may, I may be doing some of those kind of videos in place of a vlog some days, but I don't know, I might just throw in some vlog footage from the day like after a tutorial or something. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll figure out how it goes. Do you think you can do it? No. Okay, love you guys, I'll see you on the next one, bye.